As educators, we know the value of asking the right question. Today, we're exploring advanced prompting techniques for generative AI tools like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude. If you have not already done so, I strongly recommend that you look at my Better Prompts, Better Answers Intro to Gen AI Prompting for Educators video. That video covers the basics of prompting. Now, we'll explore how to get even better results by using one-shot and few-shot prompts, chain of thought prompting, and delimiters. I will also discuss why the same prompt may generate different responses from different Gen AI tools. We'll walk through concrete examples from humanities, STEM, and social sciences. By the end, you'll have a toolkit of advanced strategies for crafting high-quality prompts. There is a link in the video description to all of the prompts I use in this video. Feel free to copy and modify any of the prompts for your purposes. I recommend that you watch this video from beginning to end, but I have also included the timestamps to key topics in the video so you can decide what you would like to learn first. One-shot prompting is like giving your AI a single example or shot to set the stage before it tackles your actual task. In other words, you provide one clear example of what you want, then ask the AI to do something similar on a new input. This is the middle ground between giving no example, zero shot, and giving several examples, few shot. The one example or shot acts as a guide or template for the model on the expected format, style, or structure of the answer. So let's see what that would look like. For this prompt, I will be using ChatGPT 4.0 LLM model. So first, I will prime GPT by saying, below is an example of the kind of poem analysis I'm looking for. It focuses on tone, literary devices, themes, and cultural context in a clear and insightful way. Please use this as a model for structure, style, and depth. Remember, large language models, LLM, like ChatGPT, are designed to process, generate, and work with natural language, the way humans communicate. So for best results, write your prompts like if you're talking to a person. Then I give the example of an analysis of a different poem, the style and depth I want the large language model to follow. And finally, I state the task and give the LLM the poem I want analyze. Chat GPT does its thing, just be mindful. If your one example has quirks or errors, the AI might copy those too. Now, if one example is good, a few examples can be even better. Few shot prompting means you give the AI multiple examples of the task, usually two to five, before asking it to perform the actual task. Essentially, you're showing the model a small sample set of question, answer, pairs, or input-output examples so it can infer the pattern or rules from them. This helps the AI generalize better and often improves accuracy of its responses. Let's look at this statistics prompt as an example. I give ChatGPT two examples. The first one calculates the mean and the other median. By the time the large language model reaches my actual question, which is to calculate the mode, it has seen how I expect the solution to be structured. The result is much more likely to produce a well-structured step-by-step solution that mirrors my examples in style and depth. So I've created this table that looks at the different shot prompting styles, when to use it, and why it works. You want to use zero-shot prompting if the task is simple and clearly phrased. Example, Translate this sentence to French. It saves time and is good if the task is already well understood by the LLM. One-shot prompting is best used when you need the AI to copy the style or structure of your single example. Example, poetry analysis, specific writing tone. This sets a clear reference without overloading the prompt. And finally, few-shot prompting works great when the task is nuanced, complex, or subjective. And one example isn't enough to define the pattern. Example, medical diagnosis, reasoning, creative writing, math problem solving, grading rubrics. Multiple examples help the model recognize deeper rules or variability. Ready to get the AI to show its work? Chain of thought prompting is a technique where you explicitly prompt the AI to think or explain step by step, essentially revealing the reasoning chain it follows. This can be as simple as appending a phrase like, let's think this through step by step to your query or structuring your prompt to guide a multi-step solution. The idea is to have the AI break down a complex problem into smaller, logical steps, much like how we would teach students to tackle a tough problem one part at a time. Let's see this in action. The prompt. 
You are an ethics officer at a mid-sized tech company. A senior developer has discovered that a new AI feature being launched may unintentionally collect and store sensitive user data without proper consent. The product team is under pressure to release on time, and delaying the launch could mean losing a major client. What should you do? Please explain your reasoning step by step. Why do this? For one, it often improves the correctness of the answer. When an AI spells out the process, it's less likely to make leaps of logic, which is where the errors creep in. Chain of thought prompting literally helps the AI not to skip steps in reasoning, thereby reducing reasoning errors. It's like giving the AI a map for the journey from question to answer, rather than just asking it to teleport to the destination. Secondly, the chain of thought process makes the AI's reasoning transparent. This transparency allows users to understand how a conclusion was reached, identify potential weaknesses or assumptions, ask targeted clarifying questions, introduce new constraints, and ultimately collaborate with the AI to refine the input and achieve a better, more tailored outcome. So after looking at the chain of thought for this prompt, we might want to ask a follow-up question like, what ethical frameworks or models are being applied in this decision-making? This process is great for debugging a tricky query or for learning purposes. In an educational setting, chain of thought can turn an answer into a mini lesson. For example, instead of just spitting out the solution to a math problem, the AI will list how it approached it, like a work solution. This technique makes the AI's reasoning more trustworthy and understandable. And if it does make a mistake, you can pinpoint where it went wrong by examining its chain of thought. Pro tip, combine chain of thought with few shot prompting by giving two to three examples of step-by-step -step thinking before your real question. This boosts reliability. In the context of prompt engineering, delimiters are specific character symbols or tags used to clearly separate different parts of the prompt. They act as signposts for the AI, helping it understand the structure and distinct components of your request. Examples of delimiters include hashtags, triple backticks, asterisks, hyphens, HTML tags, triple quotes, etc. Pro tip, when using delimiters, Choose symbols or markers that won't appear in the text you're analyzing to avoid confusion. Triple backticks or triple hashtags are popular because they rarely appear in normal text. In the first example, I'm using triple quotes to separate the words. I want the LLM translate from the instruction. Unfortunately, I don't speak French. So if you do, please confirm in the comment section whether the LLM did a good job or not. Another common delimiter style is using labels like triple hashtags or other symbols as headers. In the above structure, we clearly label sections as instructions, passage, and left a placeholder for summary. The AI can then fill in the summary at the end, knowing exactly which part of the prompt is which. This structure makes it crystal clear what you want summarized and where the summary should go. In the final example, we use delimiters to go from a wall of text to a structured prompt, which should lead to a more structured and focused response. If you take the exact same prompt and run it in different AI platforms, you might get surprisingly different answers. Each large language model has its own personality and strengths. As an advanced prompter, it's wise to test your prompts on multiple models when you can. A bit like getting second or third opinions on an answer. Why? For one, it helps you find which model suits a particular task best. Maybe ChatGPT gives a very detailed, verbose explanation, while Google's Gemini might give a more precise summary with bullet points. Claude might be extra cautious and include ethical considerations you didn't even ask for. These differences aren't random. They stem from how each model was trained and their architectures. Testing across models always makes your prompts more robust. If one model handles it well and another doesn't, you learn something about both your prompt and the model's capabilities. By comparing outputs, you can often pick the best result or even merge them. Perhaps ChatGPT's answer plus a point that Gemini added would together make the perfect answer. In a way, you become the editor, and the LLMs are your team of co-writers, each with a different style. As an educator, you can harness this by choosing the model that fits your current goal. And if you're creating materials or searching for ideas, running your prompt by multiple AIs can spark insights. One might mention an example or angle the others missed. We've covered a lot of ground, so let's summarize the top takeaways for advanced prompt engineering. Think of this as your cheat sheet moving forward. Be clear and specific. This is the golden rule from basic prompting that remains true. Specify exactly what you want, including format, tone, length, etc. Provide context and persona. Frame the task for the AI. If you want it to act a certain way, expert, tutor, skeptic, include that. Give any necessary background, info, or assumptions. Don't assume the AI knows the context. 
set the scene for it as you would for a student new to the topic. Use one shot, few shot prompting. When appropriate, show the AI one or a few examples of what you're looking for. It's like showing sample answers or doing a couple of practice problems together. This dramatically improves results for tasks where format or style is important. Use one shot for simpler format guidance. Few shot for more complex or nuanced tasks where multiple examples paint a fuller picture. Chain of thought prompting for complex tasks. If the task is complicated or you want the AI to be careful and logical, prompt it to think step by step. This can be done by literally instructing a stepwise approach or asking it to list its reasoning. It helps prevent mistakes and allows you to follow the logic. Great for math, multi-step reasoning, or any explain your answer situations. Structure with delimiters. Don't hesitate to organize your prompt. Use delimiters, quotes, Backticks, hashtags, etc., to clearly separate different parts, instructions versus content versus desired format. Test and tweaks across models. Try your prompt on at least a couple of different AI models if possible, example ChatGPT versus Gemini, to see how they handle it. You might discover one model gives a superior result for your use case, and if one model struggles, you know your prompt might need clarification. Iterate and refine. Even with all the above, the first output might not be perfect. Maybe the AI missed a nuance or gave too much info. Don't be afraid to refine and run again. Prompt engineering is an iterative process. Keep the human in the loop. When using advanced prompts, you can generate very convincing outputs. Always apply your human expertise to vet the AI's output, especially for factual accuracy and bias. And disclose AI involvement appropriately in your work. In other words, AI is a powerful assistant, but you're still the boss. Congratulations, you've just leveled up your prompting skills. By now, terms like one shot, few shot, and chain of thought should feel less like jargon and more like new tricks in your teaching toolbox. The key to success with generative AI is much like teaching itself. Clarity, structure, and a bit of creativity. As you experiment with ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, or whatever new AI comes along next, remember that you are in control of the conversation. These models are incredibly capable, but you set the tone and direction with your prompts. A well-crafted prompt can turn a social response into a brilliant one. Better prompts, better answers, as the saying goes. Take one of your prompts that you regularly use and see if you can apply an advanced technique to it. Maybe add a one-shot example or throw in, let's think step by step. Try it out on two different AI platforms. Compare, tweak, repeat. You gradually develop an intuition for what phrasing works best. And don't be afraid to have fun with it. Some of the greatest prompt ideas come from playful experimentation. Thank you for watching and happy prompting. With these advanced techniques, you're not just using AI, you're collaborating with it. And who knows, perhaps the next innovation in your teaching or research workflow is just one clever prompt away. Take care, bye for now.